Welcome to the weekly update from Contrabase Conversations. I'm Jason Heath, and this show covers the latest and greatest in the world of the double bass. You can learn more at ContrabasseConversations.com slash news. So our first story, George Mraz, who's a world-class bassist in the world of jazz, performed for decades with soloists like Stan Getz, Chet Baker, Oscar Peterson, Bill Evans, Dizzy Gillespie. He's surviving pancreatic surgery, and now he's got five months of recovery ahead. Unexpected complications, very costly, and there is a GoFundMe set up for George. So if you could take a moment during this holiday season and give a little to help out a fellow double bass friend, great artist, that would be fantastic. Double bass scholarships for undergrads are available at DePaul University. They've got a new thing that they're setting up. They're offering high school juniors for bassists and violists, not that probably a lot of violists are watching, but spread the word, an opportunity to audition for conditional acceptance for up to a 50% scholarship. Links in the show notes to check that out. I used to teach it to Paul, and I love this photo that you see here. That is my former student, Bob Deal. I love Bob Deal. Bob is actually playing on my bow. Uh, Bob, so we should probably set up a time for me to get that bow back or work something out. But it's a great school. I was so fortunate to be on faculty with Chicago Symphony principal bassist Alex Hanna and Chicago Symphony bassist Rob Kassinger. Those guys are doing great things at DePaul. Can't recommend that place highly enough. You're in the middle of an awesome city. The only downside to Chicago is that it's cold, unlike here where I live now in San Francisco, where there's a palm tree outside my window. Uh, but DePaul is a great option. M more info in the show notes. So check out ContraBaseConversations.com slash news. You just go to the site. You can get all the show notes, extensive listing about everything I talk about here. And I'd like to take a moment and thank my sponsor, Diderio Strings, and let you know a little bit about their Zyx strings, which I've got on my base right now. I have the medium gauge. They sound great for pizzicato. They've got this nice growl. They're synthetic strings that have a gut-like quality to them. Uh, they work well under the bow. They're used by tons of artists and Check them out, uh, link in the show notes, and also they're doing a giveaway for Contrabase Conversations listeners. So if you go to ContrabaseConversations.com slash strings, you can get more information. The 10th, 10-year anniversary of Contrabase Conversations is coming up January 1st, 2017. I can't believe it's been 10 years. I've gotten very good at saying the words... Contrabase Conversations. That's a phrase that took me a little bit of time to practice. What I would love is if you could take a moment and call the number you see on the screen. And if you're listening to the podcast, it's 415-952-5643. 415-952-5643. Not sure if that spells anything. I should probably look that up. That will take you to a Google Voice number. You won't get me. You'll just hear my charming voice saying, thank you for calling. Leave a message. That's a great way to leave a message for the 10th anniversary episode. I'd love to get folks out there contributing to this episode. I'm going to be hopping on the phone with John Grillo, my longtime collaborator, my partner in crime for so many of these podcasts. He and I have co-hosted 30 podcasts over the last 10 years. So we're going to do a retrospective. I'm going to play a couple awkward clips from early shows, and I would love to play some voicemail feedback. So call that number and just say, when did you discover the show? It could be this show. This could be your first show, and maybe you enjoy this show, and you want to call in and say, I like this. That's awesome. Maybe you've been listening since day one, and, and you and me and everybody, we're all 10 years older now, and if that's the case, or you've listened one year or two years or whatever, uh, maybe what's, what's special about this podcast? How has it helped you, if at all, hopefully in some way? What are some favorite episodes? What would you like to see going forward? Anything like that would be awesome. SoCal Base Days. Matt Hare at UC Irvine is putting on January 3rd and 4th an event free and open to the public featuring special guests. And both of these guys are former podcast guests, David Murray and Klaus Freudenstein. 
great guys. That sounds like a tremendous event. If I can make it, I have to check my schedule. Uh, maybe I could pop down to Southern California for that also. Always a good, I, never a uh, bad reason to go visit Southern California, in my opinion. You can check out links in the show notes to get the info on that event. And s- sticking with double base events, Gal- this is my best Catalan accent possible, the Galicia Grave Festival. And International Double Bass Festival and Competition is coming up, and I have a video here with Terry Barbet, who's also been a podcast guest, by the way, just talking for a couple seconds about this event. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be part of Galicia Grave Festival, so please join us. It will be a pleasure. Now, I will be doing a special podcast feature on this event with Gabriele Raggiante and a few other faculty members. And two of the faculty members are actually David Hayes and Michael Klinghoffer. And I've featured them both on the podcast previously. You can see links to them in the show notes. And speaking of David Hayes, Finland Awakes will take place March 12th, 2017. And this celebrates the centenary of Finland as an independent country. So the, it's a concert. It'll feature a wealth of Finnish music from composers like Teppo Hautaaho and Simon Garcia, Bernard Sal, David Hayes, who, by the way, recently dedicated a composition to me. I'm honored that you did that, David. Thank you. This concert's sponsored by Recital Music. I'm sure you're familiar with Recital Music. You probably played... Th- pieces by them in the past. If not, and if you're looking for music for any sort of occasion or configuration, I've had lots of students play quartets from uh, Recital Music. I've played a lot of music myself. RecitalMusic.net will take you there. And there's a link in the show notes to the event page on Facebook. And hosting for Contra Conversations, there are a lot of costs that go into making a show like this and having the app and these podcasts. We hit, in 2016, almost a million downloads just in year 2016. That stuff is not free, and I'm so thankful that Rob Anzalotti of Bass Capos is providing the hosting. And Bass Capos, they're a great choice for any bass player looking to implement a double bass extension. So they're easy to install and adjust. They're cheaper and they're more reliable than hand-built latches. And they're also lighter and quicker in operation. You can learn more at BaseCapos.com. Now, there is a MIDI practice file archive from Elb Sound Studio. It features dozens of pieces from Bach, Bottazzini, Dittersdorf, Eccles, Von Hall, many others. I've got this link, I've got a link in the show notes, but I also have this on my blog links page, which has been around for, gosh, 12 years probably at this point, doublebassblog.org slash links. I don't talk about that site that much, but it's actually a pretty popular site for bass on the internet. If you type anything in bass, it'll probably be one of the first couple hits. So doublebassblog.org slash links is a compendium of everything I find useful in the world of the base. I should probably talk about that site more. It's a, it's a good site. You, it's not too late to make a tax-deductible donation to the Bradisage Foundation. And 2017 will celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Bradisage Masterclasses. It'll happen in June. And the long-awaited second international double bass solo competition will happen in September, September 1st through 5th. This event is special to me because that's really what inspired me to become a professional bassist is the Bradisage Masterclasses. When I was 15 or 16 or something like that, I went to Northwestern University. I studied with Jeff. I fell in love with the bass. I learned so much. So it's so cool that he's hitting the 30th anniversary. And there's a link to make a tax-deductible donation. And by making a donation to the Bradisage Foundation, you're supporting the double bass. You're supporting music, arts, and education. And speaking of making a donation or supporting some other way, you can help support Contrabass Conversations in this one-man operation, and there are lots of ways to do it. Some of them involve money, some of them involve time, some of them involve just sharing a link, and you can find all of that at ContrabassConversations.com slash support. Now, feedback, and thank you so much for writing in so much great feedback. As always, I get so many ideas from people writing in. Every guest you hear these days is a recommendation from a listener. 
So if you have a guest idea or if you have any news you'd like to share on the weekly update, send me an email, feedback at ContrabasseConversations.com. And thank you to Terrence Fitzgerald, who wrote in. He's written to me before. He lives in China. And he listens to the podcast through the app during practice breaks. He's interested in hearing interviews with Hal Robinson, Tim Pitts, and some others. And I'm actually in the midst of setting up a time with Tim to talk right now. And Hal and I have also talked about doing an interview. So expect that to come soon also. Terrence also suggested interview and have been interviewing audition winners and he suggested a little bit of a spin on that interview people that have won multiple auditions and talk about how do they balance an orchestra job and other responsibilities that just come with you know, being older and <laughs> like uh, how do they balance that with audition preparation several people have also written in including kim perillo to ask about where to get a copy of David Allen Moore's book, Fractal Fingerings. And this isn't currently formally published, but you can contact David for more information. And be sure to check out my round two interview with David at ContrabasseConversations.com slash David Allen Moore. What a great talk. I drove down to Southern California, spoke with David at the base studio at USC. Just such a great conversation. So many takeaways. It's just takeaway after takeaway after takeaway. Great episode. Um, Marcio Bolzan, and if I butcher your name, my apologies, uh, also wrote in, said he loves listening to the podcasts, and also that he saw my coverage of Alex Ritter's Double Bass Festival, which I covered last week on the weekly update. And if you haven't checked that out, or if you'd like to check out any of these weekly update episodes, again, ContrabasseConversations.com slash news is a special, special page just for the weekly update. And Daniel Kimbrough also wrote in. Daniel's active in the neo-folk, newgrass, roots music world, whatever you want to call it. And he listens to the podcast in the car, driving between Knoxville and Nashville for recording sessions, flights, rehearsals, and that kind of thing. And he expressed interest in hearing more coverage in the world of American roots music or what, whatever we want to call this. And Craig Butterfield, one of my recent guests, and he's also the bass professor at the University of South Carolina, he's a great example of someone active in this world. Check out Craig at ContrabasseConversations.com slash Craig Butterfield. That was a great episode. And Daniel, this is a great idea. I'm actually starting off by talking with Daniel for the podcast about this. And I love exploring these different musical subgenres. I recently interviewed David White, who's active in the theater scene in New York. And I also spoke in 2016 with Pablo Aslan about tango bass. And I'd love to dig into American roots, tango bass, theater music more, and all these other subgenres that there are in our world going forward in 2017 and beyond. I'd also like to thank Joe McFadden, Mike Guy, Geis Bosher, oh, my, sorry, Mike, uh, Lori Coffin, Stefan Behan, Kevin Feeney, Ted Bodsford, and all the other people who wrote in this week. And if you'd like to write in, you can send me a message at feedback at contrabasseconversations.com. Uh, last week's guests were Ben Allison and Bill Merchant. Two fabulous interviews. Ben is a jazz artist in New York City. He heads up the New York wing of the association that does the Grammys. And great conversation. He's crowdfunding his most recent album. We talked about streaming music. We talked about making a living as an independent artist, a DIY artist. I can identify with that quite well. Great talk. ContrabasseConversations.com slash Ben Allison and Bill Merchant who's been a luthier for 40 years, or approaching, I think, 39 years right now. Bill and I, again, great conversation, super deep dive geek out about all things luthier related. If you have any interest in that at all, you will love it. Coming soon, we we're finishing out 2016 with interviews from Chris Hanulek, principal base of Los Angeles Philharmonic, Caleb Quillen, the recent audition winner in the Kansas City Symphony, James Newcomb, who's starting a new podcast, Musicpreneur, which is almost as hard to say as Contrabass Conversations, and Tracy Friedlander, who started the much easier to pronounce Crushing Classical podcast. So that's finishing out 2016. Coming up in 2017, I don't even know where to begin. 
interviews in the can with Adam Booker, Bernard O'Neill, Brandino, Dan Stifa, Eric Steffens, Kevin Brown, Ted Bodsford, Marcos Machado, Matt Eulery, Patrick Naher, and that's just warming up. You have more music episodes, more deep dive, topic-specific episodes like winning the audition and the one I did on fitness, and of course, more of these weekly updates. We'll also finish off 2016 with the best of 2016, which is a little excerpt from every interview episode, and that won't take as long to listen to as you might think. Uh, it's, it, I'm super excited about putting this together. It's one of my many projects I'm working on right now. And of course, the 10th anniversary episode. And again, call me for, or don't no, call me, call Google Voice 415 952 5643. I'd love it if you picked up the Contrabass Conversations app. If you don't have it, it's a great way to listen to the podcast. It'll notify you when a new episode comes out. It's got some articles I've written about bass, all these technical, like buying a bass, extensions, that kind of thing. It comes with a free copy of my book, Road Warrior Without an Expense Account. If you want a little darkness about the freelance business, uh, that's that's a good read. And, and it's free. Free. So get the app. And that is going to do it for another episode of the weekly update. I am attempting to do these without any edits. I'm trying to get better at just talking without editing. It is so easy when you're a podcaster to just stop and re-record. So one of my new year resolutions for 2017 is to just get better at turning on a mic and talking. So apologies for any uh, weirdness. That's just what happens when I don't edit. ContraBaseConversations.com slash news to check out these episodes. Feedback at ContraBaseConversations.com to get in touch with me. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you again soon for more life on the low end of the spectrum.